We have now solving quadratic equation by factoring. So in our example here, we have x squared plus 5x minus 24. Um, recall in your uh, factoring lesson during your grade 8, uh, this is in a form of ax squared plus bx plus c, no, where a is equals to 1. So, um, our first step is we are going to focus our c. Find the factor of c and we uh, find the factor of c which sum is equals to the linear term. Equals to what is our linear term, uh, numerical coefficient of our linear term? The 5, diba? So, let's find the factor of negative 24, which the sum is equals to 5. Okay. Um, we have negative 24 times 1. We have 24 times negative 1. We have 6 times negative 4. We have negative 6 times 4. We have 12 times negative 2. We have negative 12 times 2. We have 8 times negative 3. And we have negative 8 times 3. So, these are the factors of negative 24. Okay, let's find their sum. Kung asay mo equal nila og 5, mauna itong gamito niya nga factor. Okay, negative 24 plus 1, that is negative 23. 24 plus negative 1, that is positive 23. 6 plus negative 4, that is 2. Negative 6 plus 4, negative 2. 12 plus negative 2, that is 10. And negative 12 plus 2, that is negative 10. Then 8 plus negative 3, that is positive 5. And negative 8 plus 3, that is negative 5. Okay. Okay. Now, which factor of negative 24 is equal, uh, that is the sum, is positive 5? So, we have now here 8 and negative 3. So, we have now our factor. So, factor of x is also is um, x times x mano. So, we have, so, we have now x since 8 is positive, so that is x plus 8. And negative 3, so that is x minus 3. Where did we get the x? The first term, x times x, which is x squared. So, when we are going to, to find the product of this um, binomial, using the FOIL method, it is equals to x squared plus 5x minus 24. Okay, so let's find the roots or the value of x we have now. To equate this into 0. So we have x plus 8 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. Then x equals negative 8. Why negative 8? Because we transpose positive 8. That is um, the sign will be changed. So that is equals to negative 8. So this is now our first value of x. And x equals positive 3, so the second value of x. Again, the roots or the values of x of x squared plus 5x minus 24 are negative 8 and positive 3. Okay, another example. Next example, we have 3x squared minus 10x minus 8. Okay, so our first example, no, kay, the... Uh, Numerical coefficient of x squared is equals to 1. But now, we have the value of our numerical coefficient, which is equal to positive 3. So, what will we do now? Again, recall the um, lessons in factoring. ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equals to 1. So, first, we have to find... Uh, find the fact, I mean, find the product of our a and c. So we have 3 and negative 8. So what is the product of 3 and negative 8? 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. So now, again, we are to find the factor of negative 24, which sum is equals to negative 10. Okay? So, we have 
negative 24 times 1, negative 1 times 24, um, negative 8 times 3, negative 3 times 8, 6 times 4, negative 4, I negative 6 times 4, then negative 4 times 6, negative 12 times 2, and negative 2 times 12. Okay, so let's find, uh, let's find the factor, factors of negative 24 here, which sum is negative 10. Okay, negative 24 plus 1, that's negative 23. Negative 1 plus 24, that is positive 23. Negative 8 plus 3, that is negative 5. Negative 3 plus 8, that is positive 5. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. Negative 4 plus 6, that is positive 2. Negative 12 plus 2, that is negative 10. And negative 2 plus 12, that is positive 10. So, which factor, factor of negative 24 here, which is equal to negative 10? Okay, here. Negative 12 and 2. So now, um, atuan na siyang i factor. We have now, so we have now our new equation sa ato sang, since nga, naman tayo value na e, diri no. So, ato sa siyang i write sa new equation niya. Apil na ning atong factor. We have now 3x squared minus, okay, um, we are not going to write negative 10x. Kay si negative 10x, siya man ang sum ni negative 12 and 2. So, we are going to write here uh, minus 12x plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. So, maybe you are confusing. Di intagi ka ng 12 and 2, diri sa tong factor nga equals kay si Si negative 12x plus 2x, that is equals to negative 10x man, no? So, instead nga, negative 10x, so we write negative 12x plus 2x. Then, after that, um, we are going to group this. So, ma-apply na to diri ang factoring by grouping, no? Factoring by grouping, so we are going to group this. We have our first group, 3x squared minus 12x. And we have 2x minus 8. So, uh, when we talk about factoring by grouping, so, we group na to, then find their greatest common factor. So, in our first group, what is the common factor of 3x squared and 12x? We have a common factor of 3x, right? Then, write 3x here outside the parentheses. Then, divide. 3x squared, divide 3x. We have x na lang, na? Then, negative 12x, divide 3x. That is negative 4. Then, our next group, 2x minus 8. The common factor of 2x and 8 is 2. So, we write 2 here outside. Then, 2x, divide 2. That is x. Then, negative 8 minus 2, that is negative 4. So, we have now the factor. So, first, we are going to write the ex um, expression inside the parenthesis. We have x minus 4. And we have 3, the outside, 3x. So, th since this is positive, so we are to write plus 2. So, this is now our... Um, factor. Then, um, find the value of x. So, we are going to equate this by 0 na. So, this is x minus 4 equals 0 and 3x plus 2 equals 0. Then, x equals negative 4 transpose become positive 4. Then, here we have 3x transpose 2 become negative 2. Since we have a numerical coefficient of x which is 3, so, divide both by 3 para makancel. So, we have now x equals negative 2 thirds. So, our roots or the values of x are 4 and negative 
Two-turned.